All right, as we get set for the restart now, it's Ryan Briscoe and Ryan Hunter Ray first and second. But third is going to be the guy who says he's had the best car ever at in this uh, young season. That is Dario Franchitti. So we'll be watching him from third position in the red number 10. Here they go. Lined it up side by side. Hey, Tagliani's got to run. Well, he had a run. These guys were stacked he's up. And he was going. See Franchitti looking for a spot. Boy. Oh, Franchitti, Franchitti. is going to get second. Ryan Hunter Ray is going to lose. Oh, Tagliani's all over the place. No. And Mike Conway shoots the gap. Ryan Hunter Ray maintained his position. Wow. I thought he was going to lose at least one position. Mike Conway up to fourth. Nice job by Mike. What's happening is they're not getting, they're not forming up two by two, and people are getting runs, and all of a sudden, yeah. just everyone's arriving in turn one at the same time. Look at Conway looking to the inside. Of Dario Good Franchini. Move. Very nice. Very Conway, nice. Conway, is he going to get the spot? Yeah. Yes, he does. And Mike. oh, Ryan Hunter Ray's in trouble. Ryan Hunter Ray is off the pace. Contact with Vitor Mira there. Wow, Ryan Hunter Ray, wow. it looks like his day may be over. At least his chances of winning this race are gone. Car owner Michael Andretti looks on. So while one of his cars drops out of the race, or at least is having problems, Mike Conway, another member of the Andretti Autosport team, has moved to second position. Dario Franchitti is third. Then James Hinchcliffe is running fourth. There's Hinchcliffe in the 06 car. Behind him is Alex Tagliani, then Serbia, and then Danica Patrick, who is seventh. Get Tony some reports that... Go ahead, Lindy, what's when, going on? Well, with when her? Ryan slowed down, it, it was complete shock here. They did not see this coming. You should have seen the looks on the faces of this crew. I just went up and asked Michael Andretti what happened. He said, and hang on, I have absolutely no idea. Conway takes the lead, Lindy. Mike Conway has taken the lead from Ryan Briscoe. Can you believe Conway? Wow, first he pounces on Dario Franchitti, then he just mixes it up with Ryan Briscoe. Wow. Finishes a 23rd and 22nd so far in the Eyes on IndyCar series this year. Mike Conway leads at Long Beach. And there are coming up 13 laps to go. And those were decisive hey, Mike, moves. 13 laps to go, 13 to go, and you got nine overtake left. Nine overtake remains. That's Tom Anderson talking to Mike Conway. And Tom Anderson, even before any of this, is very, very high on this young man, says that the way he is so laid back in his responses. Now, he's a fireball behind the wheel, but when he's out of the car, he is got to be one of the most reserved guys you're yeah. ever going to run across. Very quiet. Yep. We may, if he wins, we may have to have him interview Marty, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> pulled away to a 1.6 second advantage on Briscoe. Here's how the change of leader took place. Same place he got Frank Keating. So yep. Textbook out breaking right there. Really nice move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about an yeah. emotion swing right there in yeah. about two yeah. laps? Yeah. yeah. Wait, he's, he has he opened up again. Yeah. 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 Wow. Wally. Yes, sir. Uh, I got a cattle prod for the post-race interview. That's going to put some life in conflict. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way we're going to get me. Yeah. Twelve to go. Nine overtake remains. And a two and a half second lead for Mike Conway over Ryan Briscoe. Talk about saving it till the end. And Bob lurking back there, Dario Franchitti, who has more overtakes than anyone. He has 16 left. His problem all day long, he has not been able to talk to the crew since early in the race. They can talk to him, but he cannot talk back to the crew. So they've made no changes on the car because they don't know what to change on the car. But clearly they've gotten it better, or the car has gotten better throughout the day. Kevin? Great day for Newman Haas. They've been here every time that Indy cars have run at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, 28, and they've won more than anybody else six times. James Hinchcliffe in his second IndyCar start is fourth. He's done a great job of saving fuel today, and he's also been quick. Oriel Servia started this stint needing to save some fuel. He escaped the melee.
melee there. That caution, though, helped him to where he can run flat out. He's been told that he can use his overtake button off of every hairpin the rest of the way. Wow. Needless to say, Hinchcliffe is the highest placing rookie right now. And Ryan Hunter race crew trying to determine what happened. Lindy? We had heard them say he was going to come in and replace the steering wheel. He came in. They have not done that yet, but they keep looking at it. You can see they have just taken this thing apart, trying to figure out what's happened here, Bob. What a heartbreak for last year's winner here at Long Beach, Ryan Hunter Ray. Now, the reason you're changing steering wheel, obviously, has nothing mechanical. There's just a lot of electronics, including the gear shifts. That's why you would replace it. It has nothing to do with the steering, obviously. That is part of your driveline and control, which is why you might try that. There's second, third, and fourth. But Mike Conway has pulled ahead by almost four seconds over Briscoe and Franchini and Hinchcliffe. Here comes Mike. There's the interval between first and second place. Now, I will say that if Will Power was still running, Dario Franchitti would be one step more aggressive. But he knows at the moment that his main championship contender has been beached by his teammate, and he's got an opportunity here just to be careful. Coming up on 10 laps to go. This is only the second IndyCar race that Mike Conway has led in his career. The other was at the Indianapolis 500 last year where he was badly hurt. Okay, you know you're going to need new tires. It's inevitable, right? So why not get them from TireRack.com? With TireRack's online research tools, you'll know you're getting exactly the right tires for you, your car, and the way you drive it. All at a great price. Don't just change your tires. Change the way you buy tires. The biggest selection of tires. One more way Tire Rack is revolutionizing the way you buy tires. TireRack.com. Research. Buy. Deliver. Install. Salmon breath. You in? Fifth generation forerunner. Sucker punched by a big fish. You in? Fifth generation forerunner. Trained in guerrilla warfare, a deadly force with weapons and explosives and a physique that can only be described as <sighs> adequate. Commander Axe, you have anything to say before we begin? Can I have a beer? Before Sam Axe took his talents to South Beach, he took it to the bad guys in South America. Man, that felt good. Bruce Campbell stars in a USA television event. Burn Notice, The Fall of Sam Axe. World premiere tonight at 9 on USA. Characters welcome. Going to break, we mentioned that Mike Conway was badly injured in last year's Indianapolis 500 in the closing laps up and over the car of Ryan Hunter Ray that had run out of fuel. Mike Conway up into the catch fence, the car tearing completely apart. Mike Conway was on the sidelines all last year after this crash. Today, he has come back to lead in the closing stages of the most prestigious road race in the United States, that being the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. There are just a few laps to go here. Conway has a five and a half second lead, Lindy. And his practice sessions before this race were not that great. Michael, is this your driver that you expected in this spot right now? Oh, for sure. You know, we had a lot of high hopes for Mike, and so far, He's not letting us down, you know, we just, we got a long way to go, but I'm really proud of the job he's done. You know, he had a problem in the pits and um, a lot of guys would have given up, but he's been pushing really hard and uh, just really proud of him. I hope he can bring the, win the world cares. What happened in the pits? Uh, I think he overshot the pit and, and caught the hose and that just messed up the whole deal. So, um, 
hopefully that won't be won't matter. So we just got to make it. To